the Kemetic or ancient Egyptian Merkaba. The term Merkaba originates from the ancient Egyptian language, dating back to around 3000 BCE. It is composed of three words, Mer, meaning light, Ka, meaning spirit, and Ba, meaning body. It is written that the Merkaba represents the interconnection between the physical and spiritual worlds. This term is also used to describe a light body spirit that is used for traveling between dimensions. It's associated with the energy field that surrounds and protects the body during journeys from realm to realm. The Merkaba is often depicted as a three-dimensional star tetrahedron, consisting of two intersecting tetrahedrons that spin in opposite directions. Imagine a bright light in the sky, then a great ship descends with ancient beings inside. They disembark from the ship. It is in the shape of a Merkaba. The beings look like the local people. The difference is, they are extremely tall and technologically advanced. The beings had a huge animal-like creature with them that had the body of a lion and face of a human. It was revealed to be a masquerade or mascot. As the ship fully landed and burrowed into the soil, Nothing was above ground, other than one point. To a future onlooker, it would give the appearance of a pyramid. The masquerade walked out and laid on its haunches nearby, and waited. The scribes hurried to depict what they saw. They wrote the events down into their records in their own languages and symbols. The architects drew what they saw and later attempted to build it. They used local materials and local communities. They paid the workers for their services and documented it. The records still exist today. Maybe they were building in an effort to honor the huge beings that looked like them. They erected statues all over the land and created shrines in hopes that they would return. Thousands of years later, outsiders invaded the land, read the records and tried to decipher the pictographs about these sky beings. In their limited language, they called them gods. Can you imagine something like this happening in ancient African villages and regions? Search the various African ethnic groups and their mythologies about beings that came from the sky or the cosmos. Write down what you find, search other regions, and see if there is a common thread of information. This video is to stimulate thought and research. What we believe today may not be the original meaning or intent of information and stories. Dig deeper. A lot of info was lost in translation. Until next time.